1878, when the refinery was first operated, um, it was the year in which the first telephone directory was ever published. It was the year the first motion picture was made, and it was the year that the light bulb was invented as well. Now, Henry Tate, any of you know what Henry Tate did before he refined sugar? Uh, he was a shopkeeper in Liverpool, he had six shops and he got into sugar refining and decided that was the way forward. So he opened a sugar refinery in Liverpool and then decided he wanted one in London as well. So he came down here and he bought this site in 1876. It was a failed shipyard um, and he got it up and running in two years to make sugar. At first he was making 150 tonnes of sugar cubes per week. Uh, in 1921, his descendants merged their business with Abraham Lyle's business, the factory down the road. And one of the most interesting periods of the history of the refinery was during the war. So the first thing that happened was women took a lot of the jobs. We went from 10% of the workforce as women when the war started to around 50% of the women uh, workforce when, when the war was in its height. Uh, moving on to uh, the late 1940s, 1950, and we were nearly nationalised. And then we got to the 70s and 80s and it became a much tougher time for us then because we joined the, the, the European Economic Community and the rules in Europe obviously favoured beet sugar rather than cake. A lot of the refineries in the UK were closed and they were consolidated here to London. I think that if Henry Tate could see us today, he'd be very proud of us. Now, even Henry Tate liked his employees to have a good time. So I'm sure he'd have all been proud of us today.